Welcome to the Vinancer Studio. Today I'm installing a balloon garland in this giant store window and I wanted to share with you my best balloon garland tips for installs in large spaces. A quick and easy way to add more volume to your garlands is to use larger balloons. So usually my garlands are primarily made up of 11 inch balloons with a few 17 inch balloons thrown in as accents. But this one I'm going to make primarily out of 17 inch balloons and then toss in a few 11 inch balloons along the way. I've I've inflated two 17 inch balloons to a variety of sizes, tie them into a pair, and then take two of those pairs and overlap them so that the centers touch, and then twist one balloon from each of those pairs around each other, locking it into a quad. Take a third 17 inch pair and slip it right into the center of that quad, and then twist one balloon from the pair around one of the balloons in that quad, creating a giant cluster of six. Half of my balloon garland is going to be made up of these 17 inch clusters and the other half is going to be made up of 11 inch clusters. And as I'm inflating all of the balloons for the clusters, I want to make sure I'm varying the size of each balloon to give a beautiful organic look in the end. In total, I made eight clusters in both 11 inch and 17 inch sizes. Now we need to tie these all together and I'm going to use two MT260 modeling balloons tied end to end as the center string for my garlands. Tie this string to the center of your first balloon cluster. I like to pinch the end right against the nozzles, stretch it tight, and wrap it a couple times in a figure eight around a couple of those balloons. Now you're going to take your next balloon cluster and nestle it right up against the first one. Stretch the 260 string right up through the center of the new cluster and wrap it in a figure eight around a couple of those balloons to secure them snugly together. Nestle the next cluster right up against the one you just attached and secure it in the exact same way. Now I'm gonna alternate between my three different colors and my two different sizes of balloon clusters in an organic way. My goal is to not create a repeating pattern in this garland, so I'm mixing up what sizes of balloons are next to each other as well as how many of the same color I'm adding on. Now in total, this garland will be 12 feet long and I made two of these to go up the side and across the top of the storefront's window. By splitting the entire length into smaller sections, it'll be much easier to hang while I'm standing on a ladder. This is what the empty storefront window looked like before the install, and whenever I'm hanging decorations, I want to make sure I'm never going to damage any of the surfaces. So I'm hanging the garland using half pound command hooks. These won't damage the paint, and they're easy to remove after the event. I applied two hooks to the wall going up the side of the window, and that'll be more than enough to support that section of the garland. Because even though the garland is quite large, it still weighs next to nothing, and the half pound weight limit will be more than enough to support it. Now to each of these hooks, I'm going to wrap an empty 260 balloon around it and tie it with a double knot. While I hold the balloon garland in place, I'll be able to reach through the garland and grab one of these 260 tails and wrap it around one of the balloons that's right next to the hook. I love using 260s because they have a little bit of stretch. Even once I attach the balloon garland to the hook using them, I can still rotate the balloons around and play with them, and that little bit of stretch gives me that flexibility. After attaching the first half of the garland to the top hook on the wall, I was then able to rotate my balloons around so they sat exactly how I wanted against the window, and then I attached the lower portion of the garland to the lower hook. Along the top of the window, there was already a curtain rod in place, so I just tied 260s every couple feet across that rod to hang the upper portion of this garland. Now if this rod hadn't been here, I could have either used more command hooks or magnet hooks attached directly to the frame of the window. Because this next balloon garland is going to be above my head, I'm going to nestle the ends of the garland right next to each other so that they're touching, but instead of trying to tie them end to end first, I'm actually going to attach the end to the ceiling so I'm not having to hold it in place. Then I'm going to work my way across the window attaching the garland to those two other 260 balloons, but as I do this I'm actually going to snake my balloons back and forth instead of hanging them in a straight line, and that will give my garland a bit more volume. Next I'm going to add a little bit more texture as well as visual presence to this garland by tying in some 24 and 36 inch balloons that I inflated. Some of these I've just tied off individually and a couple of them I've tied into pairs, but to all of these I've tied an MT260 balloon to their nozzle which allows me to easily tie these into the garland anywhere I think I need a little bit more pizzazz. 
finally, I filled in any gaps I might have in the garland with some 11 inch balloon clusters so it looks nice and full. And now we have a gorgeous balloon garland that can stand up to the grandeur that this window needs. If you enjoyed today's video, you should check out this one. And until the next time, remember, stay creative everybody!